So when we say tempo running, uh, what we're talking about is lactate threshold training, right? And so for you, that would be it paces anywhere from 615 to 625 a mile. We can be really, really, really exacting with it, but we also need to understand that on some level, it's a bit of an imprecise science. What if there's a 1% uphill grade on the street? What if it is 85% humidity? What if there is a stiff headwind? So there's some leeway here on how we characterize lactate threshold training, even critical velocity training for that matter, when we start looking at environmental factors uh, uh, um, and the fact that there's just some leeway here. I mean, as long as we're in the right zone, we're in the right uh, sort of training area, so to speak, physiologically, we're going to get the gains without having to be so neurotically married to pace that we create a sense of failure if a, a repeat or a mile is four seconds slower than what was written down on paper. But generally speaking, for you, we're looking at 615 to 625 pace it will be lactate threshold training for you. Well, we know that that dumps lactate into your blood and that the more you train at lactate threshold training and your body becomes efficient at clearing that lactate from your blood, then the more efficient you're going to be at running farther, running faster.